Uh, let's start off by acknowledging uh, country. And uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Aboriginal land that we're on. Um, here we are in Darug country and uh, never ceded. Uh, and like to pay respects to Aboriginal elders past, present and emerging. And uh, the, I feel like the uh, First Nations people have given us a great legacy of things that we can learn about um, mm -hmm. living uh, happily with the planet, symbiotically, <laughs> rather than wrecking the place. Uh, and so tonight, uh, welcome to the SEPP cooking show. Uh, SEPP is spiritual and environmental preservation practice. And uh, what we're looking to do is uh, have a spiritual and environmental community of practice in the face of, well, the big picture, you'd say, in the face of the modern crises. And, uh, of course, you can name a big list of those things, uh, global warming, pollution, uh, all those kinds of things, apart from you know, social and political uh, challenges that we have. And so when we say spiritual, it means the spiritual that you bring with you, uh, so whatever that might be, and that uh, saying that encourages us to be respectful um, and accepting of other people's uh, views and beliefs. Um, and when we say environmental, that means not just the uh, green living environment of the planet, which is supporting us, but also our social economic environment, if you like, and our internal environment as well. And so by addressing uh, all these challenges, we make the spiritual our first port of call uh, in order to uh, use our spiritual practice, our spiritual principles to, to address the situation. Let's get down to Golden Pumpkin Blessing. Yes! Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Um, once again, thank you. I really, really honestly appreciate it that we actually here and um, welcome home. Um, let's actually start. Now, um, I have got some... Um, um parsley here that is actually from the garden we will use some of them in the um the root you know the the the, the root of the parsley this bit here we will use them in the soup in the pumpkin soup the the leaves some of the leaf we actually will use them to um, decorate because it's very important when we cook or when we eat it's all started from our mind as, as um, you know, as a spiritual practice, we it's very important to actually to understand that you know, when we actually why is it that we actually have got the pumpkin soup or, or pumpkin sweet, whatever it is, it all started from our mind, our heart. So, thanks to Shelling and thanks to um, also someone else who actually suggesting pumpkin. Now, with the pumpkin, I really actually like to actually to, to show. What is it that is actually so spiritual about pumpkin? You can actually see stars. Wherever we are, you know, we can actually look for the stars. Okay, I'm actually wash all these things here. I'm going to put them here. What knife I'm going to use? So it's not just the choices of pumpkin. It's not just the choices of um, onion. It's not just the choices of sweet potato. Even the choices of herbs that we got in the garden. If you don't have parsley, you can actually use coriander. If you don't like coriander, you can actually use um, you know chai, garlic, um, garlic chai or onion chai. This one definitely is out. This one definitely is out. This one definitely is, is out. Because you know, this one is actually very good for bread. I know mm -hmm. this one's out. This one is actually quite good because it's actually have got the poi and it's not too heavy. Beautiful. 
It is a beautiful pumpkin. Mm. So <laughs> here's the pumpkins here. I'm actually going to not three today, but let us actually start with something sweet. We all need sweet in our life, right? Now, it's actually, there's so many things, so many ways we can actually do with this pumpkin. Um, you know, one, one other way is actually, we can actually take the seeds out. And what I normally do with the seeds, I dry them and I wash them. And I use them, um, you know, um, for um, when for practice my my um, patience and also mindfulness. I um, put, dry them in the in the oven and just um, you know pick them pick pick the insides of the pumpkins up myself. So because we actually are not going to use all. Oh, How do you do that with the seeds? I, I never did that before. I mean, I've always had the seeds, and then I said I don't know what to do with them. Okay, so you can either dry them and cook them, um, dry them, and and um, I'm not, um, you know, and um, I'll show you. Just give me one minute. I'll just wash my hands, just like that, and just put them um, on um, a dish like that. The cat, the cat is screaming. We have got a cat, and she is actually very smart. She would scream when she wanted to come up, come in. So I can actually hear the cat actually screaming. Um, let me in, let me in. You're actually having so much fun and you let me outside. What happens is actually you get the seeds and spread them out like that. And what okay. I normally do, when I've actually used the oven, and at the end of the oven, when I'm actually finished cooking, um, whatever it is that I'm actually cooking, I just pop this one in and close the lid and, and leave it. Oh, oh, that's no. coming for dinner. <laughs> the cat's coming for dinner. The, the, the half of that pumpkin, then it's better for me to actually to cut the pumpkin in half and in, or in, in one third or whatever that I need to. So that way I don't touch that and I, and I cover it up with a, a piece of... Um, with, yeah, with, we don't use um, grad wraps, so we just wrap it up. Um, that and then people put it in the fridge so that way it actually will last. So that's good. Tea towel. It's good. Tea towel is actually very good. I use tea towel to, to, to wrap my bread and uh, um, wrap a uh, lot of things. The sizes have to be very similar because then the time, the length of time that we cut, uh, we, we get to cook, it will be similar. It's very important when we, um, we have to be kind to ourselves basically. I'm going to pop this into this. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're my best friend for life. <laughs> You're my best friend for life. <laughs> you even said that before, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet. I love you, Louise. I love you. Even, even with, um, you know, with the coconut milk, right? You know, um, actually, this is coconut cream. If you actually thinking about sustainability, if you if the recipe actually saying coconut milk, you will pay the same price. So instead of buying coconut uh, milk and have to actually pay two dollar fifty or a dollar um, twenty, whatever the price that you actually pay, it's better that you buy coconut cream and dilute it with water. That way, you get a uh, coconut uh, milk. And, and you get to actually to use this can rather than is actually paying two dollar fifty and get coconut milk. My choice is the um, certified organic raw sugar. So I'm going to put three, four, five, six. Remember, I'm a very sweet person. I put the sugars in there, and the other thing that is actually needed is salt. Why do we put salt um, in sweet? Can anybody balance. tell me? Something to do with balance. Hmm? It brings out the flavor. Thank you. Thank you very much. So salt is actually bring out the flavors. Um, so we give it a nice shake. Put the um, put it on the stove. Turn the heat on. And water. Now, if we actually want it to be quick, we put hot water. So I just put a little bit of, a tiny little bit of hot water. You can actually see it's there. You know, I'm almost actually cover it. And then I put the lids on. 
why that actually cook <coughs> I then actually will do the um, onions um, and the other things. Now, Louise actually was asking what we're going to do with this um, skin. I'm potting them into there. So the skin is going there to make the pumpkin soup. Everybody, when they actually come to my house, and um, if they actually um, have been to my, um, have had my, um, um, what do you call them? My pumpkin soup, they're all saying, wow, wow, it's all beautiful. Now, one thing that I need to actually put into the sweet is the tapioca. So this is the dry tapioca. What I'm going to do, remember this is actually will span up. We'll go double in size. So with that much pumpkin, I will put about three tablespoons of the um, um, tapioca in there. And I'm going to can I just ask a question? Uh, now it's starting to get complex with the tapioca. Is there a recipe written out somewhere? If you actually, um, actually, I need to um, um, acknowledge Anne. Last week, Anne has um, taken the notes and, sh and she actually sent me the notes and I have cleaned up the uh, recipe. So the recipes are now available on from last week um, on the um, Facebook. So you can go and have a look. There's one more recipe that I actually still have to clean up yet. Thanks to Anne who did that. Whoever actually wanted to volunteers tonight to write down um, the notes, and I will actually will we'll have a look at it, and I'll post it um, at post um, in um, um, our Facebook. Or oh, I can send it to you if you remind me. So I I, I just soak that into the water. It's actually leaving that turkey to cook. And and now uh, you know in this part I'm actually going to do the pumpkin soup skin and all right now to start with the um, onions because these onions is actually you can actually see they start to go off so what I actually do if I if I if I don't need all the onion you can actually see that that is actually still actually have life in them even though there's not much roots in there so I will actually will will, will grow that one and with this one here. You can actually see that it's actually start to go off. So this one is actually no longer good. Now, if I actually have these big onions like that, and if I'm not going to use the whole lot, what I normally do is that I either actually, if I need that much, I'll use that much. If I use, I need that much, I'll use that much. If I need that much, I'll use that much. So I cut that one there like that. And this one here, I put them into the soil and that will give me um, onion. So I have got, you know, um, different onion plants actually growing and I harvesting the leaf for um, omelettes and different things. So if you actually don't need the whole onion, you don't have to actually to peel them all up or cut them in this way because you're actually wasting them. Once you actually put them in the fridge, unless you actually cover them and, and um, you know, use them the next day or, or the next um, dish, it's okay. But if not, you just cut them this way and use this one to plant and use this one to eat. Huh? No, I like to actually to do this like this because that way you get to peel it this way. You can actually see the onions have many, many layers. It's similar to our practice, to our spiritual practice. We have to see have to peel it. Now we're cutting onion. You can actually just cut them in this way. Turn it this way. I don't know why it's actually going around like that. And turn it on the side. <laughs> cutting the onion this way. You can cut it this way, line them up. I start to actually to have tears. Have a comment okay so you have half a normal onion half a red onion normally i would fry the onion first and fry all the vegetables but you don't have to do that yes it's not that we need half red and half um, brown it's just that i wanted to show you what we do with the less of the onion if, okay. if you actually just need one third of the onion or half the onion cut it and put this into the pot even even it's a small pot you can actually put three or four um, in there it will grow so if you actually need the whole onion then use the whole onion 
that, that's what I've actually wanted to actually to share that um, we can actually do that. Cut them mindfully. So when you're actually doing it, cut them mindfully, you know where is your hand, where is your mind, where is the pumpkin. So we actually put them all up in there, right? Now, um, let me check that. Because my hand actually have got onions, it smells onions. So I need to make sure that I wash my hands. And again, go back to um, what the Buddhists were saying about sustainability. We actually use this water, um, you know, for lots of things. You know, like you can see I wash my hands again and again. And I use it to rinse, um, you know, the pots and the um, whatever it is that needs to be rinsed. And then I wash them. And that water actually will go into the garden. So there's so many things that we can actually do or not do, right? Water from the bottom of the steaming and put on my plant. And there you go. Yeah. There's so many ways that we can actually do, um, um, you know, we just being mindful what is it that we're actually doing and, and how far we want to take ourselves. It's a choice. It's a choice that am I going to put um, sweet potatoes in there or not? It's totally up to me. You know, if I add sweet potatoes, it would um, um, give that more sweetness. Spicy, go very nicely sweet. So I, I don't need to actually to have the whole um, um, potato, uh, sweet potato. Another thing I'm actually members actually, instead of actually chopping up the the, the, the fresh potato, because I'm not going to use the, the, the whole um, sweet potato, I remember that was actually left over from lunch. So I have got some left over um, sweet potato. I was going to have them for dinner. So, um, you know, instead of actually have them um, tomorrow, I have it cold like that, and I can actually pop them in there. And once I keep that one done, I'll put that in there. I want to show you something else. When we actually doing pumpkin soup, you know, um, who am I taking notes? The onions, you can use one or two, two onions, pumpkins, and then you can actually use curry powders. There's so many different curry powders in the market. Which one you're going to buy? So you have got that one. There's, this is only one of a hundred, you know, and, and then you can actually get that one. You can actually look at the, um, if you actually want it hot or spicy or not too spicy, that one you can actually see that it's actually special curry powders. And, and you can also make a choice of where it come from as well. You know, where it come from, it's pretty much that um, your habits. You know, if you actually come from Thailand, like myself or Laos, you will, because your, your, your habit and your experience, you would actually very likely, I would very likely to pick up something that is actually from Thailand rather than um, from um, Fiji or America or, or somewhere else. But of course, like I said last week, it's much better if we can actually use Australian. Um, see, that's actually that one. There's another type of um, curry or masala curry. It smells different and it's actually different colors as well. And that one, that is actually a much mild um, curry. Looks like a turmeric. Yeah, so many different curry powders. Pass. You can actually have the laksa as well. You can have the pass. So many different types of pass that you can actually wow. use. Wow. Yeah. So some, you know, when I'm actually Amazing mix. It's, it's so much, yeah. So, so sometimes I actually will use the, um, the, um, laksa paste in there or the um, curry paste in there but today I'm actually going to use the curry powder even with the curry powders which which you know one of the four here which one I'm actually going to use right I can actually check with Tom or I can check with myself or, or you know it, it's, it's really actually depend if I actually feel like something's really hot once it's, and, and, and another thing about sustainability, once it's actually being boiled, we can actually turn down the heat. Because instead of nine, we can actually go down to three. Because that way it's actually still cooking. That one's actually nearly done now. Now with the curry powder, 
because I wanted to get rid of this one, you can actually see it's nearly finished. I'm going to use this one. There we go. Three tablespoons. No, it's actually not because I I, I did not spill them up. Yeah, dessert spoon. Yeah, it's about two tablespoons. Yeah, you can actually see because I did not fill up the top, uh, totally top. Okay, that one's actually ready to go. This one is actually also ready to go. I'm going to use the wings and Yeah, because it's actually quite hot. Come and have a look at this one, please. So you can actually see it's already ready. I don't even actually have to put the the, the, the spoon in there. I, I know that it's actually already ready. So what I'm actually doing, I just sprinkled these things in there. What's that? The tapioca. The tapioca. Yeah. So sprinkle the tapioca with the excess water. I will have to um, drain it. Why so do you don't... we soak the tapioca? Anybody? Say that again. Why do we soak the tapioca? To soften it, so that so, so you don't have to cook it very long. Yep, that's right. And also, it doesn't stick together. You can see that it's actually already changing colors. Once it's actually done that, all we're actually going to do is going to put. This one in here. I'm not going to use the whole can. I'm going to just use half. You can actually see this is actually coconut cream. Like I said earlier, if you if your recipe is saying that you you need um, coconut milk, all you have to do just have one of this, uh, one spoon of this, and mix it with water. That's all you have to do. So that one actually will do later. You can actually have a look there. Half a can, yep. So I'm actually stirring that lemon in. Have, have a look. Because I'm actually putting sugar first in there. The the pumpkin, most of them is actually still going in, in chunk. If I've actually did not put sugar in together, I'm putting sugar after, then the the pumpkins will already be um smashing. Um does it make sense? Oh, okay. Yeah. So the sugar is actually helped to actually to keep the um, the pumpkins in that um shape. All right. So I'm going to t t test it to see if it's actually sweet enough. If not, I'm going to add some more sugar. Mm. That is actually sweet enough, and it's actually beautiful. Now it's actually I'm done. So I'm actually going to take this one over here. Putting in the pot, putting on the table, and with so, that going, so, Ling, yes, didn't you have to cook the tapioca? I did. Come and have a look. You can see that if the tapioca is done, it's come become transparent. Some of them is actually still be a little bit white, but it's actually will cooked um um in here. Yes, you do have to cook your tapioca. And if you actually don't want it to actually to go, can you see that it's actually the tapioca actually being transparent? Yes. Once it's actually become transparent, that means that it's cooked. What about the tenements? <laughs> it's not fair. We can't have a tasting. <laughs> so in here, um, thank you, Louise, um, for writing that questions. You know, because you actually would need rooms for these to actually to move around. If I've actually put all the pumpkins in at once, it's actually doable. Because what happened is that I can put pumpkins and everything in there, put the leaves on, and let it do its own thing. That's also do a bit um, some oil and um, some curry powder. You can actually do that, right? It smells beautiful, honestly. It actually it really smells beautiful. Now I'm actually going to leave that. Would you one would there. you ever use butter or ghee? This one. Would you ever butter. use butter or ghee? Oh, butter or grease. Ghee. 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 Yes. yes, you can. You can actually use butter or ghee. But um, I, I don't really like uh, butter always because what happens is that I don't like um, washing. The, the, the lizard, I don't do that. Now, I'm going to leave this little green um, for the decorations on top at the end. 
but uh, with this one here, I'm throwing it in. Ling, is that coriander or is what is coriander? it? What's that? If, if you have coriander, use coriander. Um, oh, right. parsley, yeah. Because I have oh, lots, lots and yeah. lots of parsley in the garden. Right. Oh. Okay. I'll send them to your leaves, no worries at all. Um, just, just text me your address. Now, that all right. one there, I'm actually going to throw that one in now. Yep. Like I said, you know, like honestly, honestly, you don't have to actually to boil to, to cook your um, onions first. You just put everything in, it won't boil. Get the oil and everything. Now, let's go to juice our um, salt. Oh, how much? That is actually um, one tablespoon of salt. Okay. It's nice it's to be generous. That's not, <laughs> not a tablespoon. <laughs> what is it? It's about. Oh, that dessert spoon, I suppose. Yeah. So, so um, a dessert spoon, not, not, not tablespoon. Anyway, salt to taste. <laughs> what is in there? Wow. Really? Yeah. Rice what flowers. is it? What is it, it really? Rice, rice flowers. flowers. Yeah, but right. this is not supermarket in Rose Bay. It must be supermarket <laughs> somewhere else. <laughs> you can get them from Coles. You can get them from really? Coles. Really? Yeah, but the Coles, they all have. Okay, so this is apologize. This is parsley. Okay, so I'm going to use this plastic bit here. What I actually do, we actually put them in the bag. Yeah, me too. And we take them to good on your wrist, then we take them to the uh, supermarket. Yeah. Hot water. The water has to be really, really, really hot. Now, I'm going to be waiting for that pumpkin. I'm going to put this one in here first. It depends, right? I don't normally um, measure it. So that measure. Because normally I don't measure. I'm going to put half of this in there. Uh, so it's like 500 grams? Is that a kilo? Is that a so kilo bag? this is bag? 500 gram? 250. Okay. This yeah. is a 500 gram pack. Yeah, so so it's about 250. If you actually see about two people, That's and that cup. is actually just in there. Now I'm actually waiting. And then it's actually, you can see more water's coming up now. And, and it's not yet um, cooked. So I'm actually um, waiting for one or two compliments um, from here. I have got the um, laser on when it's actually done. I'll put this one on and I'll turn on the electricity. Yeah. And, and I'll just yeah. rent it. You're right. Yeah. Okay. I can actually put my sweet potatoes in because if I don't, I might forget. Mm. You know, can, can I tell you something? <laughs> I have got my rice here. I'm waiting for that to actually to, to, to be there. If I'm not cooking the um, pumpkin soup because instead of actually having another pot and, and cook the pumpkin separate I just um, you know using the same pumpkins in here and if I'm not doing that then I would actually get a small pot and I put put um, you know maybe about um, half a cup of pumpkins in here cut them small because that way it actually doesn't take Take long, put the lids on and cook it. Once it's actually the pumpkin's um, soft, then I actually will mix them in two days. But because, um, like I said, I don't like washing. If I can let use less, one less spoon, if I can actually use, wash one less spoon or one less bottle, I'm happy. That's about half a cup, right? And it's actually nearly, nearly done. So I've actually got about that much pumpkin you can actually see. I can actually use the mash thing. Um, I, I just want to pick up those things there, uh, most of the um, most of them. So, um, like I said, I don't want to use another, um, if I can use less um, stuff. I do have got something to mash it, but that means that I have to wash that one, or, or Tom have to wash it. <laughs> Um, so I just mash this one up as you can actually see there right so um, 
I'm actually going to add waters in here. Now, like I said, I don't measure. I do not measure. So what I do, I just pour them in. Mix them up. You can actually see there. Now it's actually start to actually to come to together. And as I can actually see, it's actually not enough water. So what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to add a little bit. You must have hot water, remember? Just a tiny little bit of water. What sort of consistency do I need? Can you see? That is the consistency that I need. Mankan, mankan. But instead of actually having the normal, um, um, uh, what do you call them? Normally the flowers actually need to be um, than that. Now, I have got the flowers actually right here. So... What's, what, what did you say? What's not cooked? Um, the flowers actually need to be cooked than that. If the water is actually not hot enough. You can actually see the water is actually not hot enough. So what I actually can do, I'll show you something. Put the flowers on here. Right? This is, can, can you see the textures? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what you actually, something that you actually need. So um, like I said earlier, You can either actually cut this one. Let me show you. You can flatten them up like that. And let's say, let's say if this is actually my um, fillings, right? So I put the fillings in the middles. I close it up. And normally what we actually do in Tang Yen, um, the Chinese is actually called Tang Yen, um, put fillings in there and you roll it back. And you make it a round shape. And you boil the water. I'm going to boil the water in a minute. That is actually with fillings. But the one that without fillings, you can just make them small like this. With this one, if I'm actually, um, I can actually use this one as sweet or sour savory. Now, we, like last week that we actually making that syllabus, the exactly the ginger syllab. I actually roll this one. We eat this one in um, Chinese New Year's um, or, or um, you know, across the Chinese New Year, um, Tang Yen. You can actually make them savory. Boil them first, I'm going to show you in a minute. And, and um, you know, you can actually use that in the soup as savouries. Or you can actually boil it first, let, when you jump to the, the top, then you actually use that um, in your syllabus, like we did last week. Um, you can serve them sweet or savoury. Now, noodles. With the noodles, you put your... Um, Get this one, the rolling pin. Roll them up. You can actually see this is actually not very good because it's actually, um, you need to actually make them, the, the flowers, you can actually see the flowers actually breaking. Can you see? So well, that why, is actually why, not. Ling, why is that? Why, what happened? The water is actually not hot enough. The water has to be actually boiling hot. So once it's actually like that, I have to actually put some some um, flowers on the knife and I cut them. Right. So when you put the boiling water in the rice, it wasn't hot enough. It wasn't hot enough. The right. rice actually had to be hotter. Um, the, the water had to be hotter than that. Okay. Let me show you in a minute. I'll show you something in a minute. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually the noodles. 
you can actually see the noodles is actually breaking away, but it's actually still doable. It's just actually taking time to actually to 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 do that. Mm. But make sure your water is very very hot. The water has to be boiling hot. So so you just cut your your noodles in pieces like that with the uh, your um, flour knife. I should really actually turn it down. That is already done. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn, I'm going to put this one in coconut milk. Why do I put the coconut milk in now rather than earlier? Can someone tell me? So it doesn't split. Hmm? So it doesn't split. What is it that doesn't split? The coconut cream. Oh, you mean that the, the cream doesn't split? Yeah, um, it, it doesn't become oily. Yes. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I think that they might pour. I don't know. I don't tell, always tell you, you get poison from the out of the can. Thank you. But that's me. I don't know. <laughs> it, it's very, very important that we do not, never, ever leave, um, you know, anything that half eaten in the can. It could mm. be coconut milk, could be anything at all. You must take in the bowl. I'm, I'm going to use it in this dish. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually pour them into here. Right. Okay. Have a look at the before and after. How, how smooth it is. Can you make a bit of noise? How much cre uh, coconut cream did you put in that, or milk cream? I've, I've actually used basically I, half is actually from the sweet, and then I've actually used the other half from that one. So it's one can. I only one. use one can, and, and one the lens I've actually put them in here, and I, I put the lids on, and I use it for something else um, tomorrow. Yeah. Now with this one here, you have to use it within three days. Mm -hmm. After three days. Please throw them away. Actually, when I said throw away, it's not a very nice word. Um, we actually keep it to the worms. And when mm -hmm. the water is actually bubbling up, then you, you you drop this into the water. And when it's actually come up to the top, that's when it's actually ready. When it's actually ready, then you can actually use it, like I said, in savory or um, in sweet. Who can remember the S S S um S T G? Global. Good health and well-being. Very good, and I good can't health see it. <laughs> and well-being. My glasses are not good enough. We actually have. Um, do you think we have achieved that goal? I'll put myself on. Hang on. Yes. Yes, we have. <laughs>